Alright, so we back with Vox Machina, Season 2, Episode 6. Alright, so, last episode, Keyleth went to the Pyra. I think I said it right. So, yeah, I think I said it right. Keyleth went to the Pyra to help him because the fire rift had opened up and a bunch of little dragon stuff were coming out. If it turned out four Dak had come out of it. Hmm. Yeah, four Dak. Four Dak had came out of the thing after the council ladies had uh, used the gem that I think is in his chest now to basically drag him in there. He got out. He got out and then opened the rift. Keyleth met her dad. She had to over once again overcome herself. Because, because she she's really her she's really her worst enemy. She's the one holding herself back, and she walked through the fire. Whoa! Became a giant fire person. Um, Kamui. Why did I say Kamui? <laughs> I meant Kaiju or something like that. Fucking Kaiju ass monster, and and uh, burn the things up, burn the things up, and all that. She came out with some new drip after that. Came out looking fire. No pun intended. Okay. Vax is really stressed to get these vestiges and get out of here. Because of the visions of death and all that he's been seeing. Vax got the magic flying boom and also just scanning a favor now. And Grog has been talking to the sword. Which is concerning. Which is very concerning. I don't know why I decided to make this intro this time feel very formal, like we seen across the desk at an interview, but I started it, got to finish with it. All right. So, I know you're ready. I'm ready. That's ready. Let's get into it. Ooh. Okay. Are we going to be addressing Grogs? Ooh. It was that one of those people was the... Sweaty guy that Scanlan was trying to flirt with after in season one. Oh my god, look at his eyes. He's having dreams now? We're just slaughtering people? That's crazy. He still has his beard though. Go, go, go. Yeah, you're not gonna relish in that one. Craven no. Edge laughing? Yes. You made the proud grog. Is that his dad? No. What? You made the hurt. Ooh. No, that's that scream scared me, and I don't know Pike like that. Okay, oh, voice acting went crazy just now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm throwing it away. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. You're not giving. Oh my God, you're not giving me visions of my best friend dead on the floor, and I'm keeping you. No, it gotta go. It says you made the herd proud at the end of the episode with Ripley, which I forgot to mention in the intro for some reason. I just forgot about that bitch. I, I'm trying to erase her from my memory, basically. But um, the the there's giants there, and they said, they said the herd will will keep giving you the gold for now, okay? So it'll be interesting if that was Grog's village. Village, I do know that um, I'm pretty sure Grog and Pike grew up together basically, like at some point. I don't know. I think I read it somewhere, or I saw. It, I don't know, but uh. But Pike and I'm pretty sure Pike and Grog grew up together at some point. Like Grog came to her village or to her family or whatever, and they ended up growing up together. So that's why they're so close. I don't know why he ended up going with Pike. Why he left his dad? He said you made the herd proud. Was he making? Was he not making the herd proud? With how strong he is, well, with how villain he kill, is to kill and stuff. I feel like the herd would be all right with him. Really nice dreams where no one died. Hmm. A matron of ravens. Somehow I doubt she'd listen. You could try. 
<laughs> oh, the dragon found him. Well, Ripley got a crystal ball that apparently can show, see where they are. So. Rhymeclaps. Oh no, Percy, I didn't mean. No, please take it. I'm fine. Look at Percy. Your cheeks are red and everything. Okay, Percy, I see you. Do your thing, boy. Trick. Not bad. Oh yeah, she mastered fire now. Remember when you Ah. I like cold. <laughs> Makes my nipples tingly. Hmm. So, uh, how you feeling, buddy? Percy making his moves. Making you some know, moves. Like I like it. You've been real fixated on... Oh, yeah, just a sec, Pug. <sighs> Come here. Hey, oh, whoa. Oh, hey, Grog, what are you... Don't you worry, Scanlan. Uncle Grog hey, is hey, gonna no, keep I... you warm. Really? That's crazy. That's crazy. Huh. This is actually kind of cozy. <laughs> no. Scanlan. Stop it. Ooh. Come on, about, about, about. <laughs> Not, why he suddenly started? Is he just is he just trying to avoid a conversation with Pike? Is that what he's doing? Because why is Scanlan suddenly a baby now? Mm-hmm. guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. You couldn't treat me like this. I'll I would bite his nipple in retaliation. I didn't I don't know what else to do. He's too strong. Okay. Oh, we just have dead bodies around this bitch. Okay. What do they mean? They look like the zombies and Vax's um of course you can. fucking visions. We were sent by our seaside. Ooh. Nice. Use the mate. My mate sent you. It's been centuries. Yikes. Damn. Oh, but hey, she wasn't like with anybody else if you're worried. Centuries since they seen each other, since they talked, keeper of a knowledge and they still consider each other consider each other mates. That's crazy. You must prove your worth in a challenge. Yes, we sort of assume. How confident? Then I shall let you choose. Mm -hmm. Conquer the seventy death gorgons. Oh my God! Survive the endless labyrinth of misery. No, sir, not that one. Or wound me. Ah, uh, sir. I'll go with the last one, I guess. They wound you. In my eons of life, I have never felt pain. What the fuck? Your challenge is to inflict an injury. This nigga a masochist? Any wound will do. Oh, nah, him and a DC used to be into some freaky shit, because what the fuck? Guys, death gorgon sound cool as fuck. Let's do that one. What? what? Only, it's, it's only the first of the third. I'm not doing the second. He's never felt pain? You're in another dimension. What the fuck? I thought we were... Each of you will have a chance to wound me in a one-on-one -on -one battle. We can't do it together? Who dares go first? Oh, uh, how about Vex? You never... Really, dude? <laughs> what do you want to say, B? I'll go. I'm not letting anything happen to you again. You won't be able to overpower him. <laughs> Braun's not really my thing. That's facts. Why you didn't mention it was one on one before? Okay, I thought it was a team thing. No, not now, Creepy. We are in the middle of something. Feed me, or I will feed myself. Nigga, I will throw you into lava. Stop playing with me. Oh my God, they took his muscle. All right, okay. I'll get you blood. Oh, he's giving his. That's crazy. Oh nah 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 this is getting now this now this is getting a little too much bro because now this man has to hurt himself to not hurt them nah this is too much the self-inflicted wounds we gotta draw the you gotta draw the line there grog you gotta you gotta learn to recognize the signs of a toxic relationship because that's what this is okay he should have he needs to go back to pyra and throw this fucking sword in the lava okay Cause this sword can't. It it just it really just took the blood out of him though. Just that shit was. Oh my god. You've been touched by the matron of ravens. Yep. What are you Every night. about that? A heavy burden being the matron's champion. Facts. Fortunately for you, <laughs> you will live long enough to feel its weight. Your brother lives, but he will fall in the void forever. What the fuck? Unless one of you can succeed. 
That's crazy. The hell? Fuck you. Oh, poor girl. You have no family left who actually cares for you. Why does why do both of you talk shit? Okay? Your wife already tore us down. Ooh, damn. And now she's gone. Ooh. Quite formidable. But you clearly know not where your strength comes from. Bro. What you just say? Bro, your wife or your wife, your mate already tore us down, okay? Okay? We don't need both of y'all to do this. There's gotta be another way. I can't. Oh, three at once. How inspiring. <laughs> They're gone. Allow me a moment of utter sincerity. Okay. Talk to him, Sam. Oh, you could play air piano right here. Okay. It's cold outside, and you're not all right. He's gonna serenade this nigga. See her. Wish you could hear her. Gonna make illusion of the main. As the days go by. Oh shit. You by my side. Just wanna be near you. Wo wound him emotionally okay mentally make him feel that pain of missing her mm. yeah yeah scanlan break that little heart of his bro into a million pieces come on come on mm -hmm. He crying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have done what no other has before. Because of you, I feel pain. Yes, sir. You have wounded my heart. Good job. Are you shitting me? That worked. I have no one. And and the thing is, I really, I want it. Uh -huh. I just can't seem to get it right. Perhaps you need to stop looking for love and let love find you. Huh. Damn. Never thought about that. Damn, I'm about to cry too, bro. I'm about to cry too. This feels like a bro night. Nice thighs, yo, touch me? Eh? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now they just buds. Oh. They had a they had a deep conversation. Oh, this is totally cool, guys. Me and camera tight. Nah, these are, this In is totally Yeah. This, this is the wisest sage I've ever This is some heard. real boy shit, bro. You fight, you talk, you talk, you maybe you you fight, you talk, and now you're best friends. Okay? And just in time, okay. he's gonna tell us where all the other vestiges are. Okay. Not quite, wise one. Mm. You will reveal them yourselves. Myth cover show me something good. Damn. I swear, Scanlan's voice actor can sing, dog. I love it. There's a weird sky, pink mountains, and a crazy forest with upside down waterfalls. Reminds me of a drug trip. A swamp? sort of like the Fey Realm. I see something inside this gnarly tree. What the fuck? Oh, Vex. Some badass looking bow. Ooh, that's definitely hers. Okay. Isn't the Fey Realm on another plane of existence? One's got a vestige. Big, giant... Gauntlets. Oh, they're glowing. Uh, it's probably not important. <laughs> okay, what is going on with you? Pass him, Pike. <laughs> Pass him, Pike. Don't let him forget. What was that? We're not alone. I'm afraid you've been followed. <laughs> oh shit! Everyone, get down! Can a Springs beat a dragon? Let's see him fight. Okay, your bro saves you, bro. You have my thanks, gnome, for finding me a vestige. Exactly, exactly. We're not alone. We got Sphinx with us. Do I think he's gonna win? Got no idea. Exactly. Jump him. Aren't you supposed to be extinct? Not yet, Defiler. Defiler. Okay. There we go, there we go. 
Okay. I've got the hang of this now. <laughs> got you. Okay. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. We got this, we got this. With the springs on our side, we can do this, bro. Max just took a hit. What the fuck? Well, he got armor on. He'll be fine. Oh, okay. She's riding Keyleth. Can you use that sword? Or give the sword to Grog. Maybe you can do something with it. Okay. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. I really want him to kill one dragon right now. And I don't want the Sphinx to die. He hasn't seen his mate for centuries. Okay, he can't die without seeing her again. What? He just took... Sphinx, Sphinx, you gotta save your boy. That's your boy now, bro. You got no, you got no boys in your life. He's your only one. Exactly. I need someone to catch Scanlan. Or Scanlan, catch yourself. Oh my god. No. Oh shit, he grabbed Scanlan instead of the sword. Oh, he a real one. He a real one. He grabbed Scanlan instead of the sword. No, 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 no. Scanlan! Jamie! No! Thank you for showing me Osisa once more. No. I hunger for blood. Oh shit, Grog said it this time. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. If he can do it, I'm okay with it this time because this dragon. Anyone see another way out? I'll try to make us one. Grog. We're supposed to go to the fray anyway. Make us a portal. Okay. Step it up, Keyleth. He's cutting it up a little bit, though. It sounded like she said buddies for a second. Oh, he's doing work right now, though. Much better than I see anybody else. Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, oh no. Frank. No. I actually started, I actually started crying, I, <laughs> did it hit them? Cause it sounded like they still got hit. Oh, they're splitting up. They're splitting up, the spell split. Grog, Scanlan, and Pike went somewhere else. She's shaking. What happened to Pike? Where is she? I, I don't know. And where's Krog? And Scanlan? Where are we? Bro, I started tearing up, dog. <laughs> that happened, and I felt the tears coming, bro. <laughs> oh my god. No. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. And Pike's the healer, and she unconscious. I'm not going to lie. That's definitely the closest I came to fucking crying on, on this goddamn kid. Remember, I, you know, that's why I'm, I'm kind of happy I have a lower quality camera. Okay? Because I don't need y'all seeing tears in my eyes. That was, that was, no. That's not okay. 
that's not okay, dog. It actually happened. It actually happened. And it wasn't like he... T- and it, and the, the worst was is that it happened, and it wasn't like he tried to stab her, okay? It was like he was moving forward and just wasn't thinking about her being there. And they ended up stabbing her. Okay? That, that joint, it, was t- it took over his mind. And he, started, he started wanting that. Oh, this is this is what always happens. This is what always happens. Okay, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I put out a couple episodes of Vox Mike and I'm getting close to not having any reserve. Now I'm not, I'm getting close. I'm about to not have any in the reser- reserves. Let me go record three episodes real quick. Okay, and I record three episodes. The first episode, I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah. And every time we get to the third one. Every time we get to the third episode of whatever, whichever, whatever recording session, which I'm, which I'm gonna stop at because I don't want to get, because I want to read the comments before I go too far in the series, season, you know, I want to go in with new information if the com- comments give me that. So I stop, and every time on the third episode, it's always something that makes me just want to watch again. Last time it was it was Vex, it was Vex dying. This time, it's Pike dying. This isn't fair. <laughs> this isn't fair. I don't like this. Okay? The Sphinx. They picked, They definitely picked the best challenge because the, others were, the only other one was definitely the first option, which was kill the 70 whatever joints, which they might have been able to do, probably. But I actually don't know what those are. So maybe they wouldn't have been able to do it. And then he popped up and he's like, one-on-ones. I was like... Sir, no. <laughs> We're not running the ones here. We, this is a party. We we jump. What are you talking about? Okay. But Scanlan hurting him emotionally and them them becoming boys. That was a night. Nice, I like the progression of this episode. Yeah. Scanlan being the one that, you know, supposed to be the jokes, not taking anything serious. But sometimes, because, you know, when a dragon's attacked in the first episode, he was serious. He's like, let someone else do this, bro. We're not qualified for this. So he has his moments. But, but yeah, and then being just boys after that to, to them, him liking them, him scattering telling the jokes, and then him, the thing that he was guarding this whole time, the knowledge, the, uh, the sword that can show you where all the other vestiges are, the thing that he's guarding the whole time, he let that fall, he let that he he ignored that and let it fall to save Scanlan because Scanlan became his friend, so he became his boy, and that's crazy. And he let her, and he let him see Adisa again. And that was, that was a, that was, that was nice. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta love to, the, the progression, bro. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. The dragon was fucking the Sphinx up, bro. I don't know if it's because the Sphinx had to protect the Box Machina while fighting, but the dragon was fucking the Sphinx up. Hmm. Grog was doing some some work on that. I don't think he was gonna win, but he was doing he was doing more work than I seen anybody else do on on these dragons this this whole season. So hey, that was that was that was fine. But him spelling Pike, bro, I swear, if I was gonna cry, if I was about to cry on this goddamn camera, and I was gonna be pissed about it. Okay, I want to know why Grog isn't in the village. Why he left the village? Okay, cause he's and he's nervous about going back there. And then in the flashback, it was all like you you made the herd proud. So obviously, it has to be something about he left because he wasn't making somebody proud. Probably is that. I don't know why why he wasn't making them proud, but hey, cause everybody got a reason for not being where they were originally. Key lifts on her arm, and they, Vax and Vax and Vex, or they left their dad because their dad was a scumbag that was getting on them because they're half elves when he was the one that fucked a human so it's like or fucked a human so it was like why are you mad about why are you mad at your kids about where you put your dick weird um i heard i heard i know pike about how the family was a kind of sketchy disgrace or whether disgrace and she you know, Scanlan's little song in season one that said some of Pike's backstory. Percy, obviously, all his family died. You got all that in season one. We obviously know about that. Scanlan and Grog are the only ones information we don't have about their hometown, hometown or why they not at their village or whatever. They're the only two. They're the only two left. 
that I didn't get anything, we don't have anything about. So it'd be interesting to get their backstory right now. But Pike Grog and Scanlan are all separated. Are all separated now. Pike needs Pike's the healer, and the only other person that can help heal her is Keyleaf, and now they're separated from them. They're separated from them. So that's that's probably not gonna be good. They're in the Fey world now, which is where I don't know if that was where all the vestiges are, but it was where at least one of them was. So that's it. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if there's anything bad I could do. Let me know if there's any any if you know any ways to get around copyright and shit like that. But this was fire. I'm not gonna lie. I might go watch some reactions to these episodes because these episodes were fire. But um, until next time, see you.